and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for the return of Grixis Amass. As you know, we tried this deck out two days ago, and while I was really excited to play it, it didn't go well. Our league um, was just really unfortunate. You know, we had a lot of mana troubles um, of like drawing way too many lands and everything. We just didn't really play competitive games. So, you know, took a step back, you know, kind of reanalyzed the deck, made a few little changes, and we're going to run it back and hopefully have a lot more success than what we had two days ago. Because I think this could be a pretty sweet deck, and it was one that I was definitely excited to play. Hey, Morris. Thank you so much for that resub. Already our fourth sub of the day. Thank you so much there, Morris. Okay, so talking about a couple of the changes that we made, if you watch the video on Tuesday. Um, first, I had a negate and a um, Lazatep plating. And I'm just going to kind of play the two negates instead. I wanted to try out Lazatep plating as a cute card that says a mass one on it. Um, but I think that negates just overall will have a, a bigger impact. There's a lot of planeswalkers in the format, and you want to be able to counter planeswalkers. Um, I just want a couple of negates in the deck. So there we go. Move that. Um, I played four Rampage before, but the Rampages weren't spectacular. I really like Rampage in this Oko metagame as a two-mana answer to Oko whenever they play it. But we played against a lot of decks that were not Oko decks, and there's a lot of times like where people have extra creatures to sacrifice and things like that. So I'm taking one out for a Legion's End, because we didn't have any Legion's Ends in the deck before, and I think that was a mistake. We played against a lot of aggro that was kind of rough. I think that we need a Legion's End in the main, and then we got a couple more in the sideboard. I added those in over there, too. Legion's End is just too strong of a card. All right, besides that, the other change in the main deck, we had two Kefnets. The Kefnets were just not impressive. Um, it's a very easy target for Oko, and it's just kind of slow, and yeah, it just wasn't impressive. So instead of playing the two Kefnets, I got the fourth Rural Scions in here. Um, I really like Rural Scions, and of course, this gives us an, you know just another card for us to, to uh, filter through our deck if we just draw tons of lands like we did. All, like a lot of the games last time, we could be discarding the lands while we're drawing extra cards. And also, this card works really well with the army, because, you know, our, our goal of our deck with all these amass cards is making a large army. If it's power six or greater, it gains lifelink. But now, if we're just having one large creature, they could just even chump lock it. But Royal Scions gives it first strike, gives it trample. So, you know, having a, a huge trample army should be pretty nice. And then also, it gives it the plus two, plus zero. So even if it's like a four power army, uh, we can bump it up to six to, so we can get that lifelink going earlier. So I think the Royal Scions is, is just a, a really great card in this deck. So I'm bumping it up to four instead of three. And then also adding a Liliana at the top end that can be a good card advantage engine with its passive ability and then also get us some more zombies or make uh, each player sacrifice or, you know, do the things that Liliana does. Real strong card. So I think that those are, like, these Planeswalkers are just going to be better than the Kefnets were um in the four mana slot and then uh besides adding in the, the two legions ends which helps us out against aggro in the sideboard i also put in a couple more anti-control cards in the sideboard because we have so many anti-aggro cards in the main with enter the god eternals widespread brutality um l the legions end like, th like that's a lot of cards that are removal for creatures that if our opponents aren't playing creatures we need to have a lot of cyborg cards for decks with no creatures because i don't want legions end and i don't want these brutalities or these enter the god eternals in those scenarios so we got an, a narset in here that could just be a nice um you know sideboard planeswalker that only costs three we had the rails before but then also i'm going to try a thought distortion as a pretty pretty sweet top end card that's, that's kind of underrated um this this card has super high upside if they're to send back on a bunch of counter spells and removal and stuff like that really high upside with thought distortion so let's give it a try this could also be another liliana or a command the dread horde or other things like that or even a second narset um, is another good option for this card but i want to give it a try um and of course remember last time i didn't play temple I forgot about the temple, and I had just the blue-red gain life land here. <laughs> so that should also help with our, our uh, card selection by playing the temples. That was an oversight the last time that we played it. So I, I, I like basically all the changes that we're making here. I um, think this should work out better. So here we go. We're going to play it through a league again, and we're going to hopefully 
get this five win dream with all this wonderful gold over there. Okay, so there we go. That's the deck. Let's play some magic. I'm, as you can tell, I, uh, also I'm, I'm bringing back just a couple of the favorites. I'm gonna, you know, bring back Orzov Troll Knights that we played three days ago. That deck was really fun too. We're kind of having like a, a Saturday favorites day here, and then the last deck, Mardu Control, should be pretty sweet. It's I'm gonna play a deck very similar to the Orzov Control we played yesterday, but I'm going to add in red and get um, Outlaws Merriment and Fires of Invention and Theater of Horrors and some other cool enchantments in there and make it a an enchantment control deck. So that will be fun. Should be a fun fun day today. Oh, that's a pretty lucky clover my opponent has over there. Hmm. Double fey. We'll take one of them. Opponent's deck looks pretty cool. Maybe let's just take Murderous Rider. No. So yeah, like it looks like Grixis fires with... You know, Grixis Adventure Fires, which looks, which seems pretty cool. Yeah, this this Lucky Clover is gonna be is just gonna be. Really, really strong. Because they get to copy it. And I can't I can't stop that, so they get double Fey of Wishes here, which is just really powerful. Strategy here. Yeah, countering a spell doesn't prevent the copy. Like the copy is just gonna happen. I can't I can't stop. I can't stop that. I just named Fires of Invention, cool. I thought they were named Nicobolus. All right, well, at least, at least we got that handled. Yeah, they get, yeah, so they just get to take a look at the deck. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Um. <clears throat> so, of course, I don't want to play Nicol Bolas into the Murderous Rider, because then they'd be able to kill Royal Scions and Nicol Bolas with Rider. I don't want that to happen. Let me synthesize the facts. What I need is a good defense. Cause I'm feeling like a criminal. Okay, they're not... Not gonna kill the Royal Scions yet. So I assume they're gonna... Oh wait, they can't write... They can't play instance. Right. Right. They couldn't yet. <laughs> but that's what Fire's Invention says. But why not play Bullis now? Because because I don't want like they have they have to cast this Murderous Rider because my Royal Silence is at eight. 
It's like they're going to be casting Murderous Rider right now because Rosans is 8 8. So, like, I don't want like these things to die. Like, I don't want my Nicol Bolas to also die to Murderous Rider. Hey, what's up, Chaos? Thanks for the reset. Sub number five on the day. Oh, back to training. Hi. It's just unfortunate they had a thought erasure for the bolus. But I guess it's gonna happen whenever you have Castle Vantress. You're gonna have good good cards to draw. All right, so Rampage is pretty good. We'll get rid of the Lucky Clover. I am always ready. Let us plan for the trials ahead. <laughs> I usually take like two days off a month. Yeah. That's usually my, my thing. So yeah, it takes some days off. I um, recently, you know, about a, a week ago or so, powers out. Actually, had to take a couple of days off in a row. There with the power going off, like right after, or is is on Halloween? Actually, is Halloween night. It's going to be really tough for us to outgrind Fires plus Castle, for sure. Oh, yeah, no, don't worry, Elder, I'm good. So, yeah, I've had, I've had some days off recently. My plan is crystallizing. I'm holding on to the Watery Grave to be able to discard next turn to Royal Scions. Yeah, so they, bas they basically get, uh, like, you know, what, um, 17 mana every turn? They get to play two two spells that cost five or less, plus they get to spend five mana to activate castles. So they're spending 17 mana a turn. Your All right, get rid of that Murderous Rider, not let them gain life. I will return one day. Hey, Escoria. Yeah, we're gonna we're retrying the Amass deck. I like that we made a, a, just a few small changes here and there, and I like our changes that we made. We'll see how it goes. My opponent had a, a couple of clutch thought erasures there that took my Nicol Bolas, took my um, Liliana. I outsmarted you eons ago. But yeah, this this is the card that won won our opponent this game right here. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. <laughs> Rise and shine. Death 
death is enlightening. I will return. All right, so we're going to, like, our, our sideboard should be a little bit better. You know, like, we I added in a whole a whole bunch of stuff against non-creature decks into my sideboard from what we had before. Um, so hopefully all this stuff does pretty good. So, yeah, we just take out the Legion's End, take out the End of the God Eternals and Widespread Brutalities. So... A clean eight for eight swap. I wanted to. I wanted to make sure I had eight cards to go there that I wanted to bring in for those eight get rid of creature stuff. Hey, happy Saturday, Wrangler. That fires decks are pretty frustrating. Yeah, it would be nice if Wizard stopped printing four mana enchantments that just gave you an incredible mana advantage over your opponent. But I guess that's something that they enjoy in life. Said God Eternals can do some dirty stuff to the fairies. I mean, it's just why by just doing four damage? How does the mill, mill over four cards matter? I'm not sure I'm not sure how anything it does matters besides just dealing four damage, but they they should be able to just pick it up whenever they by the time they actually play Fay of Wishes. Anyway, they, they should just pick it up. Yeah, whenever whenever they put down fairy on the battlefield, they'll have two extra mana and pick it back up. That's that is not anything I'm concerned about whatsoever. There's there's not going to be a, a situation where we win the game because we kill a Fae of Wishes on the battlefield with our five mana removal spell. That was sitting in our hand for the entire game until that scenario and and good thing that that spell was that card, because uh, if we would have had just any other reasonable card, we wouldn't have won instead of that five mana removal spell. So land's a good draw. Hopefully we keep on drawing lands. JRC! What a peak. The weight is killing me. Life total doesn't matter. Thank you so much there, JRC.
Oh, hey, Persona, I just saw your message. Thanks for the kind words. Glad you're liking it and the YouTube content and everything. And thanks for stopping by and and well, saying hi and everything. Welcome to the channel. In. Let's grab another overseer. They got there at 10. Let us plan for the trials ahead. I was ready to um, shock in and play the other overseer here this turn, but I'll just get the invasion in play. Science is gonna fix this. Oh, so tired. I have you will. All right, so this thing has menace, right? Yep. So GG. Make this thing a four-two. Attack for four. It has menace. Can't block it. Okay, game number. Three. Anything we want to change? Nope. Looks good. All right, come on, let's get a win. Let's get a win in the Grixis Mirror. Hmm. Double tap land to start with is not great. But the rest of hand is very good. Yeah, pretty good. I mean, I like having Duress and Thought Erasure. You know, the Rampage. Let's, let's give it a try. Okay. Double fires. Uh, I guess I have to take the other things. So we take. Hmm. Drawn from dreams is better than Narset, just kind of in general. But right now, Narset's the thing they can cast. I'm still taking Drawn from dreams. I guess, no, I should have taken Narset because of Thought Erasure. I was thinking of letting them have Narset because I have the Rampage. But no, I should have taken Narset because then I could I could Thought Erasure away the other one here. I guess I could have just taken both fires too. I, I don't know why I wasn't, I was thinking about like the Rampage and I just kind of forgot about the Thought Erasure in my hand. I wasn't really thinking about, you know, taking two things. Yeah, I could have just oh, taken fires and then take the other fires, I guess. But they still have the draw from dreams to get them a lot of cards. No, I should have taken Narset. And then... Hmm. I guess I've messed this up this whole thing up now, haven't I? I messed up everything. So then, then I should have played Bloodfell Cave last last turn because I knew I was going to have to rampage this. Man, I messed this whole game up. Can we redo? I messed up everything. I need a redo emote. Yeah, I need to let me back this up. I, I messed everything up. I 
train every day. No hone your prowess. Okay, well, we'll see how we do. I really don't like this thing over here. Uh, they found another Drawn from Dreams. Yeah, this is just over. All right. This is just over now. I guess I I guess I needed to take the two Fires of Inventions. I, I could have done that. Uh, I don't know. They'd still have Narset plus Drawn from Dreams, and like I wouldn't have had anything for the Narset. I don't know. I don't know if I would have got there. I mean, maybe if I would have taken Narset plus Drawn and just left him with the fires. This thing's over now, though. The immortal Nicole Polas will be your end. Man, that was a messed up game by me. You don't have any Once Upon a Times, so which should you use in the meantime? I mean, I guess it really depends on the deck, but you probably want to play an extra land or two if for whatever deck you're playing if you don't have once upon a time that's that's like the first thing is to probably play one or or maybe two more lands at least one though all right well that that loss was completely my fault but i don't know my opponent had a ton of gas i don't know if that if i if i would have played it correctly i still don't know if we would have won Maybe we would have. Like, you know, if I take fires, t take fires, try to leave them with more spells in hand, and then Thought Distortion on six. May you know, who knows? They may have had, you know, they may have been able to Thought Erasure the Distortion, though. So, who knows? Just what I did do certainly didn't help, though. All right, so I would rather. So I'm going to be playing the island here because we have two other red sources, and we're going to be discarding the mountain because we need triple black for for dragon god. So I, you know, steam vents and island. That's that's it for these colors. Um, I guess I could thought erasure. If I play Royal Scions, I'm worried about Questing Beast on their side. But by playing Royal Scions means I would be able to Rampage and Erasure next turn. So that's my it's my highest upside play. With my sister by my side, I do let me synthesize the facts. So a deck list from Mardu, Kalia, Fires, basically Angels, Demons, and Dragons, Tribal. That's cool. Okay. Alright, so this would be a really nice time for a, a widespread brutality that we are currently digging towards right now. I need a hand, Will. Here, give me a, a swamp first. Let's cast Nicobolas. Is Nicobolas going to be good enough next turn? Alright, please opponent, please brick, please brick, please brick. Oh, back to training. Bye. I will spare you. In 
exchange for eternal servitude, I will wipe your bloodline from existence. My schemes are never ending. Hmm. Yay. Good job, Brutality. Got rid of all those cards. Um, you were gods once. I am one again. My schemes have been foiled. <laughs> You have no weakness I cannot exploit. All right, good. Well, no murderous rider, at least. Exile some stuff. It's not great to My mill them because of, Witness a moat of my the Midnight power. Reaper, or the, whatever that thing's called, Midnight Rider? I don't know. They all, they all have like the same name, but y'all know what I'm talking about, the two drop that can return creatures and also find finality. Order of Midnight, yeah, that thing. Hey, Adisha. One, two, three, four, five... So I'm going to keep up Negate that could counter a Find or an Order of Midnight or a Murderous Rider. Your defiance is infuriate. My intellect is without limit. Murderous Rider can deal with like a, a top deck questing beast. But again, I want to keep up negate. Okay. So we're going to game two. Oh, we're playing against you right now, Odisha. Oh, I got you. You had bad draws. You drew 11 lands. Yeah, that's not good. All right, so we need our exile stuff because all the things that get stuff back. And... Yeah, so we need, like, Legion's End, Cry the Carnarium. Obviously, they're going to be playing for Veil of Summer, so I need to work around Veil of Summer. We can do. And Grass Rampage just it just leaves. Um, Noxious Grasp can be okay. I mean, it's perfectly fine. It doesn't. I remember like we struggled against like Rankle last time that we played this matchup. Hey, Baloney Pony. Um. 
So I got to be worried about that. Um, that That's like a card that Noxious Grasp doesn't kill. I'm not sure how much I really want Dreadhorde Invasion or like a bunch of Dreadhorde Invasions, like at the losing life part. And again, Enter the Guide Eternals is pretty slow. But it can kill the bigger things and gain me a little life and give me a blocker. So, you know, it does some good stuff. I'm going to take out a Dragon Garden. Hey, Baloney Pony, happy Saturday. All right, the Bloodfell Caves is a little awkward here, but the rest of the hand's just fine. That hurts. Yeah, Duress and Veil of Summer. That hurts. All right, just killing the 5-5 five five before they could untap and have Veil. Um, if I play Ryder here... Then a wrinkle would be tough. Yeah, these Love Struck Beasts being 5-5s, five pretty tough. Yeah, unfortunately I did board out the Rampages, so the Spyglass is better. But that's all right. Really use this extra mana.
We'll see if they have more 1-1s. One they use the other Lovestruck Beast. There's only two other cards in hand, so if they don't have another 1-1, one -one, then the Lovestruck Beast can't attack. Hopefully no more 1-1s one over there. Another one, one. Yeah, Spyglass does shut Oko down, but there's a lot of ways for decks that play Oko to just get rid of the Spyglass. It's not a permanent solution or anything. Fires of Invention would be, you say it'd be perfect for this deck. I mean, it'd be perfect for my current hand. But I don't know about, like, the deck in general. But obviously my current hand of not having mana. Like, it, you can kind of say that in any situation that you don't have mana. The last time we played this deck, I was hitting my 10th land drop every single game, and never had spells to play so it you know would not have been good then but you know it's just it's just uh something that happens so i'm kind of expecting my opponent to have a murderous rider here it's my best play against murderous rider Let me synthesize the facts. Quest of mystery. Okay, would I rather scry one or gain one life? I think scry one. good cards to mill over. I mean, their deck is filled with good cards, but yeah, got rid of a Veil of Summer and a Liliana. Well, Rankle's pretty perfect. Pretty perfect. Yeah, I was going to be able to pump that up to be six power. To know is to triumph. Ugh, I had another murderous rider, a third one. 
Definitely. Uh Well, obviously that's devastating. We had the Royal Scions at 8 loyalty. I really need to draw like an, an enter the God Eternals. Yeah, the, the Rankle, like the best card I could have there, and then obviously the Planeswalker removal. I was back-to-back -back turns of a devastating card. Okay, let's see. Deco Knight, 33 months. Thank you so much there, Deco Knight. I appreciate that. Alright, I think I I think I want Yeah, I think I want more negate. And I, I kind of think Dragon God's too slow. I could play a Rampage to make them sacrifice Spyglass or Liliana. Or it's not going to be great against a creature. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to play a Rampage. Um... Other option, of course, is Noxious Grasp or uh, Narset. Narset may not be bad here. To try to slow down Innkeeper. Rampage on Creature isn't great, but I, I also do have six Weepers with a two cry. Um, so, you know, maybe we can pair and then the br four Brutality. Yeah, Thought Distortions in the sideboard against the, yeah, like Esper Stacks, Jeskai Fires your decks that aren't that aren't playing creatures basically there's there's a decent amount of decks that don't play creatures and that's what it's for it doesn't doesn't no it's definitely not for cauldron oven it doesn't really do anything against cauldron oven and it costs six mana Hey, what's up, Dika? Chilling with a pumpkin shandy watching Todd play something without Oko. Yep. No no green here today. It seems we've encountered another puzzle. My plan is crystallizing. Run will. I have two red, two blue already. Let's get this other black source. I 
So that's not great against their... Um, again, that's not great against their Raise Dead card. It'd be better to Legion's End, but... Um, yeah, this just clears their battlefield, gets rid of the 2-3 Lifelinker, lets me put pressure on them, put them down to 12. And obviously they do have that card. So they could play Liliana next turn. Was just a perfect draw for my opponent. That was so perfect. <laughs> wow, that was perfect. Clean victories. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I should just discard brutality. Stay away from my brother. All right, yeah, so they're definitely watching the stream. We were wondering if they had the stream paused or not. No, they're definitely watching the stream. To know is to triumph. Yeah. Yep, clearly watching. Which is a pretty shitty thing to do. Very disappointed in my opponent right now. All right, anyway. Um, Legion Sign's going to be pretty nice against my amass tokens here. My thoughts were too frozen to win. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. Cool. Putrid, but effective. So obviously another top deck of a way to kill my 1-1 one -one without um, without going to the gate, obviously. Alright, well we went 0-2. No. But 
Uh. All right, well, I don't want to just play the two matches. So we'll, let's go on over to ranked and play some matches. Even though our event went 0-2. Um, because I like, I like the deck. We had a ton of, like, both of those games, like, both those games that we lost, I really thought that we were going to be winning. Um, and then just, you know, like, the last two turns for my opponent in game two were, you know, the back-to-back -back perfect draws and then, like, drawing the 1-1 one -one there to be able to go 1-1 one -one plus Masker Girl. That was obviously game-winning. Sometimes luck's just not on your side. Yeah, I mean, our yeah, our opponent's deck was definitely good enough not to snipe. I mean, that's I, I so we played against that deck last time that we played this two days ago, and I talked about how that's just a really tough matchup. Like they have so much card advantage and everything. We're not favored at all in that matchup, but I thought we were going to be winning those games. And, you know, maybe we would have against a, a non-sniping opponent. I don't know. Nothing wrong with Murderous Rider, but I value getting some more land drops here instead. So we're putting that down. To the graveyard, because I would like to be able to play a Dragon God on curve. That would be the best possible thing. Alright, so we're just going to be holding up the swift end here. Yeah, Kendis, just just plan, just uh, planning on the three decks today. But obviously, I can always come up with a fourth deck if need be. Just had the three on the docket that I wanted to get in, and um, they were all three um, slower decks. So I was think, you know, I wasn't really um, thinking they would get time for a fourth. No, Deco Knight Pioneer is not on Arena, so I have not played Pioneer. I'm one of the few people that is not very interested in Pioneer, it seems like. I mean, do I kill this thing? I mean, I guess I do. I mean, I, obviously I could Brutality at that next turn, but I, I want to be able to... Because I can't block this thing. I guess we just use a removal spell on it. There we go. I wanted to be able to, if we draw this land, be able to drop Dragon God. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. I have other we we did good in the Omniscience draft four, last night. Three, we went four and five, three, but our our five, draft was terrible. <laughs> like my deck was really bad. We got we got pretty fortunate to s scrape together four wins. Um, I don't think I'm doing another one, though, because with the YouTube channel basically got no views. Our three, you know, our three decks yesterday, they got 
like 1.2 thousand, 2 thousand, 2.3 thousand, and the omniscience draft got 400. So it's. So I don't think I'm doing another one. I have other schemes to attend to. I outsmarted you eons ago. All right. I was going to play the Murderous Rider and hold up the other Murderous Rider here and hold the Swift End and play the Mountain. Oh, no, I didn't have... I didn't have... Never mind. I didn't have four black. That's what I was just looking at is how many how much black did I have. Um, Let's see. So, Simic. Yeah, they're just straight up Simic with, like, Castle. So, really trying with Krasis. Um, Narset, of course, is good against Krasis. Um, like, the, you know, kind of the tough part about Simic, because every single one of these spells here can be good at different times. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm too into the Negates. You know, negate is, is something that's really good against Veil of Summer. By really good, I mean it's it gives us an, an option to have a counterspell for a Veil of Summer. Speaking of Veil of Summer, Enter the God Eternal is not good against that card. But Enter the God Eternal is just, just works well with our other stuff. Um, I think I'll still just replace them with Grasp. And... I guess keep the Legion's End in and keep the Negates in. And go with this. I'll play Narset over Liliana. We'll lower the curve there. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I, Legion's End is very good against Krasis, but I don't know if we can afford to play a whole bunch of them, because that's that's really, like, the main target for it. Um, but yeah, like, that's the thing about playing the situational cards against the Simic deck. This They have so much, a good variety of threats where basically every situational card that we have, we can find a good a good use for it. So Wicked Wolf doesn't kill Gleaming Overseer unless they have another, unless they have a food token. And obviously can't kill the 1-1 one -one that has X-Proof. It's possible, it's possible they had Veil of Summer, they wanted to wait to play Oko until they, you know, play Oko with Veil of Summer back up. That they didn't really feel like they were on the clock.
I don't even know if that's really worth it, honestly. Using that there. I lead the way, but my brother knows our path. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. Okay. Yeah, Mastery Pass is basically something that's like for the current set. Whenever the next set comes out, they'll have a new Mastery Pass and so on. Each each set um, has its own Mastery Pass kind of thing. So the attack with the 1-4 was pointless. I mean, also holding it back is also pointless. They're not going to really have any... Not gonna play anything that it um, basically there's no point doing anything with it. Attack or not attack. You never know, maybe they don't block. That was my best case scenario is they don't block. <laughs> I'm not too scared of questing beast. What once upon a time could find Krasis, which would be a lot scarier than questing beast. Questing Beast hits. I guess Questing Beast does hit Royal Scions right now and makes it makes me slow down the whole Royal Scions ultimate thing. Embrace your fear and charge. Oh, they could have had Nyssa? Okay, yeah, yeah, they could have had Nyssa, that's true. Okay. I forgot about Nyssa. Yep, so that was that's a reason to hold back the 1-4. That's a good call there. Once upon a time, did find Krasis. But if they want to keep Royal Silence from ultimating, they kind of need to play Krasis now. Every story is an opportunity for new data. Aid your research. Wow. Wow. They just hit a third questing beast. Wow. Uh, well. Of the wicked. <laughs> I said chump and ult or kill Tamio. Pretty hard decision. We're I'm gonna do neither. I'm gonna try to kill them.
Don't think I'm too scared of anything in the graveyard. So yeah, we're going after killing them. So they're doing this to keep Royal Science from ultimating. Cover my back, Roman. And I gotta hope they don't find removal. There's nothing in their graveyard. I don't care if they minus for anything. They have to tick up and find something. I hope I just gotta hope they whiff for four cards here. Gotta be kidding me. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. Oh, never mind. That sounds scary. Because like, if they would, think a if they would turn, if they would turn this thing into a three-three, I guess. I mean, it was still lethal. It was fine. I was gonna say because if they turn this into a three-three, then my brutality doesn't kill their questing beast. But um. But this thing was going to be an 8-8 creature, and we, even if we don't draw Noxious Grasp, it's an 8-8 creature. We could do 2 damage, so that it only has two, 2 toughness. I tick it up, so I have 10 power attacking. They have 2 toughness, and it's Trample. So even if they would have elked the, the token, I would have had lethal. Even without drawing the Noctis Grasp. All right, well, we got to win. All three matches were really close. They were all good matches. I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna play another one here. I'm gonna go ahead and reset. With this play in the three decks, so, you know, we'll play like five matches of each deck. All right, so the the rare try you know use your resources to try to kill the opponent line works in standard. Usually doesn't work. Does the army become an army elk? No, it's just an elk. It's not an army elk. Army is not the type. Or any or like you know it's it's like saying. Um, I don't know. It's it's a zombie token, so it's a zombie army basically. So it'd be it'd be token creature elk, not token creature zombie army. Absolutely, KY. Yeah, you can definitely do donation deck for brawl on Wednesday. Absolutely, you can do donation decks for historic as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, I'm very flexible with donation decks. I don't have any donation decks right now in the queue, so any any time slots, any days that you want, everything's open. Yeah, it's the this 
like whenever you have like a creature um it's like this part turns into elk over here so if you have legendary creature it's still legendary creature elk instead of legendary creature something else if it's a token it's still token creature um but then elk instead of to token creature something else so it's it's like this part of the card type turns into you know it's still creature and then this tar this part the part on the right turns into elk basically instead of the rest of that Can you convoke in a Torbrand deck? Yeah, you just have to be playing like white or green also. Um, oh, oh, you typed the wrong word, not convoke, okay. You meant cavalcade of calamity. You meant calamity. All right. So, uh, I don't know about this card. I mean, it's fine. I mean, that's basically that card. It's fine, but it's it's very mediocre for this matchup and my hand and everything right now. We have we have better things. It's it's better than a land. You know, I'd rather have murderous rider than a land. But I'm gonna go look for something a little better. good Hey, what's up, Storm? Happy Saturday. You wouldn't watch the Joker? How was it? I didn't think I was going to be seeing you today. But happy to see you. We got some fun decks over here today. A lot of people I know that saw Joker... Gave it really good reviews. I should definitely not be milling them. They're a Cauldron Familiar deck. That is not a good idea to mill them against Cauldron Familiar. But good thing we got rid of three good cards with Priest, Mayhem, Devil, and Chandra. So I couldn't target the, the Knight. Like, the Knight's a 4-5 if they activate it. They, they of course, can activate here and trade with my 7-7, seven, seven, but they can also just Rampage to kill the 7-7. Seven, seven. I'm attacking here to gain 7 life uh, and go up to 19. Okay, give it a 7 out of 10. Good movie. It wasn't special or anything like that. Yeah, it's not a not a comic book movie. It's a it's much more of a just a, a dark movie about the story of someone's life kind of thing.
All right, so now question is, so we're down to 13. Do I plus or minus the, the Lils? I'm gonna go ahead and shock in and play it this turn for the Lils. I think, I think we just plus. Yeah, I think we just plus. <laughs> smile or you'll get oh, smile or you'll get you'll get alkified. Words by Joko. It's the new the new uh the new villain in the next Marvel movie is the Joko. Aren't they doing like a new Batman with like that Pattinson kid? Is that his name? Isn't he supposed to be Batman? Maybe that's the. I heard I heard about like the. The parts you know, like they're picking out the parts of that movie with you know, like they're gonna have Penguin, and Riddler. Robert Pattinson. That's that that person. Um. Let's get this card, this card. I guess I should sideboard. I like. I don't know why they need another Batman. The Christian Bale Batman movies, like those were awesome. Those were great Batman movies. I don't really like the the real comic style villain of like you know the Riddler, the Penguin. I don't know. Just like it's like the the comic books or like the animated TV series, I guess, with those. Like they always had like lots of ways they could have easily like killed Batman, but they had to, you know, put him on a conveyor belt with you know, loosely tied down on a conveyor belt with that's forty feet long before a buzzsaw. What am I supposed to be taken out? Um, I guess I have 30 seconds. I should probably figure that out. Um, mm -hmm. I guess I'll just take out these boluses, I guess. <laughs> the five million Spider-Man reboots. You hate those too. I actually, I mean, I like those. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of a sucker for the, the Spider-Man theme, but I mean, there was, there was the, the bad series, like the, the Tobey Maguire's ones were good. And, and the new ones, the new ones are the best ones. The new ones are really good with, um, whoever that actor is. It was the ones in the middle that had Emma Stone. Is that right? Is it, was it Emma Stone? The ones in the middle? Yeah. The, that one, that, those ones didn't really need to be made. Those ones were just redoing the first ones. Those were just redoing the Tobey Maguire ones, but worse. Mm. Yeah, the Andrew Garfield ones, those ones weren't good. Those those are the worst ones. I still haven't seen... See, I like all the Spider-Man movies, but I haven't seen Into the Spider-Verse. I'm not a huge animated um show fan like animated shows and movies and stuff like that i don't know i like actors and actresses and stuff like i've never liked animes it's like I, it's not like i have anything against them it's just not you know just personal preference i just don't i don't really care for them like do you think i'll still like into the spider-man Yeah, everybody says it's it's good. Everybody's saying it's it's great. All right, I I really should watch that. Uh, this is Grixis of Mass, but no, this is not from the Mythic Championship. This is just a version that I put together. I don't know what Young Justice is. What's Young Justice?
All right, so you said Spider-Verse was really interesting. You're not big on animated stuff. And I will inspire your heart. Hmm, a quest of mystery. Okay, it's DC series about young heroes. Okay. What, what, where is that at? We need to try that. What's it called? Young Justice? Is that on like, you know, Netflix or whatever? <laughs> it comes in pints? <laughs> Definitely what... <laughs> it's definitely what the um uh whatever his name is definitely what it sounds like it comes in pints and talk about a classic lord of the rings I've never seen, yeah, that was, that was Pippin. Oh, but I was, I was saying whatever this person's name is. I wanted to say Kenrith. Obviously, this isn't Kenrith. Whatever. Or, yeah, that person sounds like Pippin. I need a high um, okay, really, John Wick 3 was awesome. I mean, my, my boy Boban Marjanovic is one of the bad guys in john wick 3 that makes me want to see it i've never seen any of the john wick movies i actually never even heard of them until this john wick 3 came out no i hadn't seen that storm <laughs> gorilla says i hate series movies and i just want to watch more john wick well that's a good recommendation there so i'm down to nine my answers lie in the cold. i feel like i could use some widespread brutality and less still only have one black source in play though i'm gonna just cry because i need to find like widespread brutality or cry the carnarium Less lands. So John Wick 1 is wonderful also? All right, I really do need to watch them then, huh? Will and Rowan. Oh, their last name are Kenrith. Okay. So yeah, John Wick's nothing but action, but good if you like action. Yeah, I like action movies. <laughs> There's like 10 pages of dialogue between all three movies. <laughs> That's it. All right, Cry the Carnarium, anybody? I guess I'm... I guess I can't even cast Cry the Carnarium unless I draw an untapped black source also. I enjoy the proper application nope. of knowledge. Did they get Pippin to do Will's lines? That does sound just like Pippin. Maybe maybe Pippin was the voice actor.
I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be playing these Dreadhorde Invasions and losing life every turn against my opponent's deck. Mm. Maybe we're, I'm supposed to be playing, like, you know, control with these five drops. It really was Pippin that voiced Will. It really was. It was Billy Boyd is the name of the actor. That is awesome. You looked it up, it was? That's really cool. That's cool. All right, good scry. Looks like all the cards that I, I don't really want, but I guess I want more than other things. Like these are the cards that we're drawing, of course. Bud. You just drew your card for turn? Yeah, but what about your second card for turn? <laughs> um, the Chandra is kind of annoying. It's not a black source. I need another black source for Dragon God, but I probably just need to keep it. Right? Yeah, I definitely need to watch Lord of the Rings again. It's been too long. Rats. I was hoping they were going to play Chandra this turn, and I was going to negate it. Fable Passage is good. That'll give me my third Black Source. Start exiling stuff. Yeah, they got gutter bones and familiar. I need to make sure not to mill them. Mill me, not them. No, they had the rampage. Boo. Ow, ow. Knowledge is the greatest part. 
Let me synthesize the facts. All right, we got six, six lands and four black sources, which is perfect for Swift End plus Murderous Rider. Now all the rest of the lands we could get to discard. Okay, probably time to start getting rid of priest. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. This is difficult. I like all these. I was hoping we were gonna get a land. Um Yeah, that's kinda difficult. <laughs> uh, of course, I get some of my best cards. A cry of the Cardarium, a Legion's End. Boo. All right, got those things exiled. And now we got the Royal Scions on eight. I think we got this. <laughs> so I would play Mission Briefing. Yeah, why does my opponent's deck not have Blood for Bones? Basically, there's just not ro there's not room for it, really. Like, it's not, it's not too much better than other options. They're at nine. Uh, can't quite kill them. We'll just set up for the kill next turn. They draw removal. I have a negate. They draw any creature. I got removal that kills them. All right, see, two and two. We're coming back. All really close matches. All really close matches. We had to go over to ranked. And now we won both of our games in ranked. All right, let's play one more. Let's break the tie. Let's get this 3-2. Esbeta! Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub there, Esbeta. This is a fun deck to play. I've been enjoying it. Uh, is this deck Mythic Climbable? I mean, I guess it depends on how much you play, really. I'd, I'd expect to have probably around a 500 record with this deck. You know, maybe a little bit better, but not like a whole lot better. It's tough climbing with non 
Simic decks right now. It's a tough world. So, you know, just have realistic expectations, and you're good. Golgari decks are really good, too, like these, these Golgari. And especially against me. Golgari good against Grixis. Midnight Reaper. I'm like forever, like Dragon God's not a good draw here. I'm forever away from casting that. I need two more black sources. Not just like any land, they gotta be black sources. Hey, good job, Exerbs. Cool, got to. Dying with Mardu and Chance. So were you doing best of one or best of... Hmm. Play the Overseer. Yeah, see, so were you doing best of one or were you doing best of three? Okay. Well, that's that's basically what I want to be putting together is for Mardu control later on is it like a Mardu enchantment control. I haven't... I've kind of sketched it together, but we're going to have to take a little bit of time of putting stuff together. So if you have your list, if you wouldn't mind sending me that. Or also helping out putting that together. Um... I don't really like the idea of killing both of these Midnight Reapers at the same time. And that Reaper is so good. Hey, the guy in shades. Thanks for that, Twitch Prime sub. All right, I really need to find another... I need to get another land, because I need to enter the God Eternals. I'm not planning on casting Brutality right now. I want to keep these Overseers alive that keep my army alive. All right, let's update this for our ninth sub. And I saw guy in shades said some more stuff. I need to see that also. All right, hey, Todd, you got me into Azorius Control as we await Oko's fate. Thanks for all the decks to try out. You're welcome. Glad you're enjoying Azorius Control there. Hey, we got to that 10 sub goal. Thelonious. Getting us there. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub there, Thelonious. All right, so we're going to mark that down. Um, let's mill them over. They haven't drawn anything good for a long time. Neat Central joining in on the hype as well, also. Y'all are awesome. Another new Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Neat Central. All right, so I milled over a couple lands, a rider, and a find finality. I like milling over that find finality. Gets us to 11. All right, so with the sub goal that we just hit, um, the sub goals go towards our next 12-hour stream. Dun, dun, dun. 
they're holding back those innkeepers. All right, so let me take a look here. Pause. Okay. Yeah, now's the perfect time for widespread brutality. Ugh. All right, it's all right. It's not working for me. We'll have to update that later. It was really slowing down everything. Okay. Widespread brutality. See ya. All right, good, good brutality there. <sighs> hey, arcs. All right, let's see if my internet lets me open this up this time now. Okay. Now it does. All right, so yep, that's our ninth sub goal towards our next 12 hour stream. So we're doing one at 20. Okay, anyway, we're gonna take out, take out Dragon God. Bring in that, bring in that. So they're gonna be more of the knight version if they got curry favor or smitten sword master, whatever you wanna call it. So they're gonna be more black creatures as well. Could be Lucky Clover. Which if they have Lucky Clover, I want the Rampage. Otherwise, I don't want Rampage. But if they're playing Smitten Swordmaster, they're probably playing Lucky Clover. All right, so we're gonna cut the Nicobolises and one Rampage. We'll keep in two Rampages because of Clover. Don't love this. There's a slow hand on the draw of us just going like Thought Erasure, Thought Erasure. You know, like it's pretty slow on the draw with like so much of their cards costing one mana. Um, you know, dreaded Dread Horde Invasion, Royal Scions aren't really helping right now. But the Thought Erasures, you know, they have they do have the surveil stuff going on too that can get us towards a Cry of the Carnarium. I like seeing Swamp Castle. That means no Veil of Summer. That's good. Can't decide between making a Fires List, something like this for post Oko ban or something, even Esper. I mean, it's not it's not guaranteed that Oko's getting banned. But yeah, the the ban announcement it's it's nine days away now. It's probably best to weight overall you know if, if you're limited on wild cards and you're gonna be making one deck kind of thing it's probably best to wait and of course i just have to take order of midnight because if i take anything else then they just get it back with uh the order of midnight
I kind of want to take the Murderous Rider. It's going to kill my Royal Scions. I mean, it's either that or Innkeeper. I don't know. I could take Paragon, I guess. No, we're not going to take Paragon. But if I don't take Paragon, I'm going to have to cast Cry next turn. So I take so yeah you're saying take right. So if I take rider, they end step go paragon. What if they just don't play innkeeper? I go cry. All right. Overseer is a good one to find. I don't have to cast cry now because of overseer. All right, well, we'll cast Cry. That would have been so perfect if they did play Overseer there. Or that they did play the Innkeeper. Wow, didn't want to fight through that. So that's good enough for me. And this is why we're playing Cry of the Carnarium. Midnight Reaper. Yeah, Cry's a lot better than it has been ever before. It's it's the best it's been in the format because of just the uptick. That's not the correct word. The uptick in Midnight Reaper and Cauldron Familiar decks has increased its value quite a bit. All right, so yeah, three and two, including three and zero oh in ranked. You know, we played a, a we played a league and. You know, some people were like, oh, the leagues are so easy. Play ranked. That's harder. Well, we went 0-2 in the league, and we went 3-0 in ranked. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> up <-teak. laughs> Um Yeah, that was, yeah, up -teak. Yeah, that was some good technique on Kath on saying up -teak. <laughs> up -teak, a type of exotic, exotic wood. Yeah, we changed the list from two days ago. We made we made a few changes. I talked about that at the beginning of the video, um, and I, I liked the changes that we made. We didn't. It's not we didn't make like whole cell changes. Talking's difficult, but we did make a few changes, and I liked where we ended up. I'm you know I think that taking out Kefnet for Liliana and the fourth Scions that like that was like kind of the main change for the main deck, and that was really good. And I liked our new sideboard cards. We didn't really do anything with Thought Distortion. Again, that, that could be something else. You know, it could be another Narset or whatever. But this, whatever you want to do with this slot, it has to be something really good against non-creature decks. And that's what Thought Distortion is. So, it works out there. Um, so, yeah. Gurk is a mess. Yep. Yeah, Liliana was not in it before. I had I had two Kefnets, and I put, took out the Kefnets, put in a Liliana and a, the fourth row of Ions instead. Uh, no, I like Liliana more than than six mana Chandra. I think Liliana is going to be a better card than six mana Chandra, and also kind of works out with like the zombie token stuff. This gives all your zombie tokens hexproof and menace. I don't, I don't know if that will really matter too much, but you never know. But yeah, I like I like Liliana there. All right, so good showing over there in ranked. You know, we beat Golgari Adventures and. We got pretty unlucky to lose our other Golgari Adventures match uh, with the the opponent that was watching our stream. But then, even like, even with that being said, both game two and three, I thought we were gonna win, and they had some really, really good, like, kind of perfect draws towards the end of each of those games after we won game one. Um, so that was that was positive, and uh, and you know we so that then the the first loss, I don't remember what happened, but we were close. I know that I know we. We uh, won one of the three games. But overall, uh, good showing for Grixis and Mass. All right, cool. A lot better. I'm glad glad we went back to it. It looked a lot better. A couple updates made the deck work a lot more. 
All right, uh, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Also, let me know what you think of the deck. You know, leave, leave some comments. Uh, if you're trying it out at home, uh, let me know how it's going over there and everything like that. Always love seeing the comments. But thanks for watching. Grixis a mass, and I'll see you for the next video.